So your first exercise is going to really work your legs and your bottom. It's a lunging action, it's a static lunge, so you're going to hold your position right here. So the back heel is off the ground, you're going to tuck your tail underneath you and make sure that your back knee and your bottom and your shoulder are in one straight line. And this is a really good exercise to lift and lower and carry your baby down towards the floor. So when you think about that, if you're going to lower your baby to the floor, you want to keep your back upright. Yeah? And that's really important. So imagine you're holding your baby, tuck your tail underneath you, lift up through your core muscles and then lower straight down and then push through your front heel to lift back up. Now notice as you're doing this, your front knee shouldn't be going over your toes. You should be able to wiggle your toes. And we're going to do four more on this side. And as you're doing this, make sure again, you're using your core, your back posture, everything is in line. Your chin is in, straight down and straight back up. Now you can rest here and change legs or you can do another one with me. So remember the more you do, the harder it is. Change legs, step back, Tuck the tail underneath, squeeze your bottom, lift up nice and tall, remember that vertical line. And here's the thing, if you really want to work into that bottom, you've got to feel it, yeah? So as you push through your front heel, squeeze up into your bottom. We're going to do three more on this side. Now on your last one, we're going to use it to actually lower all the way down to the floor. Are you ready? So here we go. Careful, lower down. If you need to hold onto something, you can, yeah? Come down and you're onto your knees and onto your foot. And we're gonna do a little stretch for the front of the thigh. So just lift up through here and feel some length in the front here. And that's gonna really release some tension out of this muscle that you've just been working. I'm gonna change sides, do it on the other side. So again, lift your pelvis through and come forward. So your front knees around 90 degrees and your back legs a little bit longer. And then we're gonna go and work those all important inner core muscles working your tummy so this is great for flattening your tummy so you're going to have your hands in line with your shoulders and your knees in line with your hips and you want to get your back into the right position this is really important so you want to have your tailbone slightly lifted and i call this happy dog wagging its tail position but you don't want to go on a saggy back dog pony yep so you just have that little lift in your tailbone now to do this exercise you curl your toes underneath you and just lift your tail up a little bit lifting your knees off the floor and then you're going to go back down again. And this is what's going to really work the tummy. So as you lift up, pull up again, stop the wind, stop the water, pull your tummy in, and then release and come back down. You come up, and then you go back down. Make sure you breathe, don't hold your breath. So you come up, sit, and then come back down. What you can do if you want a harder version is you can stay up, keep your knees off the floor and hold it. It's much harder. You just got to make sure you can still feel that pelvic floor and your tummy muscles working as you do that. And you're there. Now we're gonna go into our upper body exercise. So uncurl your toes, release them. Tuck the elbows in again. So imagine you're holding a pencil underneath each armpit. And now this time you're gonna lower your nose towards the floor and then lift back up. Now for an easier version, you just go a little way down. And then as you get stronger, you can go a little bit lower towards the floor. And this is what makes the exercise harder. Make sure your chin stays in, lowering the nose to the floor. And one more. And then lift back up. And then we're going to just stretch out the arms and your back a little bit as well and your chest by just taking your fingers between your shoulder blades and then gently pulling on that elbow. And if you lift your rib cage up, you get a nice stretch into your back as well as on the back of the arm and just hold that there and then change sides and then you've done it well done